welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're doing not BMW related things, I know, but I thought I'd film like, you know, Ross's spits, like, and yeah, usually we do BMW things here and car shows, but why don't we, you know, spice it up a little and do Audi videos, right Ross? Yeah, today we're gonna do a real car, the Audi A7 Quattro 245 brake and come over here. So today we're going to be putting on the ORS grill. The Quattro took off the shitty ORS 7 badge. I'll be doing that and it's going to go Oh my god, that's going to look so so good. That's going to transform the car. So Ross, do you want to show us what we've done to the car so far? So with the Audi A7 we have, come around the side, with the 20 inch TTRS wheels, we got the yellow calipers on them. I think it's the best color to go for. It was either that red or purple. I think yellow stands out a bit more. Then come around to the back, actually with the window tint. Tinted all around, 50%. Don't tell the guards. And we also dechrome this using wrap. Um, it's a very hard job to do on the A7s because they've nowhere else to tuck it So you see there's a few imperfections. We're gonna try give it a good stab on a sunny day because as you can see it's been raining Surprise surprise we're in Ireland and I think this is one of my favorite mods you've done When you have the car down, it actually looks like it's still up, but in a small sub tuck kind of way. D badge, the TDI. The best part, when you come into the car, we have a fully retrimmed steering wheel. So the car is. That's from an A4, is it? No, from an A6, I believe, but it's the flat bottom, red stitching. Completely change of the car, and then if you look down here, change the full pedals as well. They were originally just a shitty plastic, but now they're nice and chromey. Nice. And lastly, if you jump to the front of the car, so the front of the car, Monica also wrapped down here. Originally, that was a grey that didn't match with any of the cars, so it's gonna look decent. Yay! Okay, so it just started lashing, so we're just gonna have to. Wait and sit this one out, unfortunately. But hopefully it calms down. We checked the weather forecast and it says it's meant to stop raining at 2 p.m. But chances of that happening, very low. Like, look at it, it's miserable outside. Like, how can you do any car project in this country? Disaster, need a garage, ASAP. Hello O'Neill, let me get into your garage. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with the top okay. screws. So these two pop off, then this pops off, pop the clips, and then there should be two screws, five on the arch, nine underneath, five on the other arch, and then it should just pull apart. It seems like easy work. Seems like it. Nothing is ever easy with cars, as we know. So this is just a wiggle. Okay, that works. Two. Yes. See the things with cars are. You just have to get stuck into it. You can't be afraid you're going to break something, which I always am. That's why I'm usually the mechanic, but uh, Ross is not letting me do any of the work today. I've done my homework. Do it right at once. Okay, and he's got a screw. Ah, yes. So pop it in, pop it off, just comes off like that. Same for the other side. Gonna need a bit of wiggle, like clips always do, but they will come out eventually. We hate clips. Wait. Oh, oh you bastard. Oh, don't be scared. Yeah, I'm scared now. <laughs> I'll do it. Do you want me to do it? Nah, I got it. Clips are the worst. Why can't there be screws everywhere? For fuck's sake. Alright. Okay, there's two out. One cracked, one not. Oh. What did you say? 
Don't be afraid to break it. I'm going back to my original motto. I'm afraid to break it. <laughs> right, so once they're pulled off, you just kind of trim it right here. These are all kind of clipped in as well, so it's just a matter of feeding it out. Like so. Cool. And now we have access. There's my night vision camera. A crash bar. You might wrap that or spray that. Depending on how it looks. Other than that, the clips, so they actually look pretty easy to pop off. I'll help you. Yeah, but we're gonna do the arches first and underneath. Oh. Okay. So there was a total of three panels at the top. So they're all off now. That was pretty easy. And then there's screws here in the arch. I don't know if you can tell. You actually can't tell the way the wheel is this way. I'll show you on this side. There are a couple of screws. What are they? T30s? T20s. T20s. Okay, so one here, one here, one here, one here, and then one that holds. Is that is that screwed in? Oh yeah, it is. Then one that holds the bumper and the fender. What? It's a dead bird in here. Oh, you're joking. Oh no, it's a tiny robin, Ross. Oh no. Ross, well, that's your second bird that you killed. You killed the first bird. I killed the first bird. The first time I took the Audi for a test drive, I smacked into two birds. They were huge. They were like what? Uh, pigeons. Pigeons. Oh. Oh no. Oh, Ross. Yeah, oh. Right, so. Onto the arches, we have five on each side. These are straightforward. Okay. Yeah, I need little screws, and they're going to be like that all around, hopefully. Yeah, that's plenty. Okay, so we're just going to do the same on this side and let you know how we get on. Right, so the screws underneath, we had two on the left, two on the right, five underneath here. I think they're these ones because they're the only ones that are already connected to the, the bumper side. And then two on the top, I should pull away after that, hopefully. Maybe. Okay, Monica, where are we now? Okay, so we've just connected everything that we could, kind of the easy part, so that we can get more access to the screws on the grill. So we're not going to take off the bumper fully, I don't think it's necessary. No. And we've taken out the, um, what's that called? The, um, the padding for the crash bar. Yeah, the padding the crash for the bar. crash bar. We've taken that out which disconnect all the sensors. Because we're gonna have to reconnect the two middle ones anyway, because we're gonna have a new grill, and then we're just we have plenty of space now to get in there and take off all the screws that are holding the grill in place. So that's what we're doing right this second. Yeah, so I think there should be about 12, 12 screws all around. Down. Decent. Which, uh, as you can see, it's a bit of a nightmare because. The Audi has night vision, it has a washer for night vision, it has washers for the windows, or the, the headlights, and sensors all around, so it's a bit of an awkward one. On this. I want to crack it. Maybe I'll trust you to do all the pulling because I don't trust myself, but oh, I do from here. Here, 
there's something connected here. Or anything. Okay. It's the center that's been cold. So see there's these clips here. Yeah. So they're basically the clips that are holding it in down at the bottom. But is there anything else that's here? The Audi badge. Is there screws in the Audi badge? No. Okay, well I'm feeling tension from the center. Same. Hey you guys. So we're kind of stuck right now because we're trying to get the grill out and we thought there was only 12 screws on this range. Can't see any screws. It seems like it's stuck around the Audi badge. And I did try to pull it and it made a cracking noise. So there must be something else that we're missing. So we're just gonna look over a video that we used for reference and see maybe we're missing something. Oh, I see them. Yeah? Yeah. at home there's two screws in the Audi badge behind which we clearly missed okay you guys we've just mocked up the grill that's going on it and look how good it looks like it totally transforms the car and like it's a good thing that we wrap this because now it goes together it used to be not even the same color silver as this well not silver gray it was like a dull matte light grey silver it was disgusting i don't know why audi do that but yeah it looks so good so ross has just gone to the shops to get paint because what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint all of this glass black or black whatever he gets um so that you can see it to be honest it's not too bad you can't see it that much um like when it's like that you can't really see on camera but i think maybe on very sunny days you'll be able to see all that so we may as well just paint it so while ross is gone i'm just gonna tape it up and clean it it's very dusty and yeah Professional painters can can come at me. Look at this amazing use of newspaper. Hey guys, I just used some alcohol based solution to clean that part. Ross is back. That's good, so we're gonna go put a primer and gloss black just so you can't see anything through the grill. So, yeah, we're just gonna try and paint it now. I've never painted anything, this is so exciting. Uh, oh, my alphas! Nice! Are you jealous that I get to do this part? Yeah. Right. What? It's meant to be like this? I like missed it. I am. Like this? Yeah. Yeah, I get a good coating on top because that'll be visible when we pop the bottom. Oh, it's all on you. Oh, I see this. 
you break it, you buy it. I would not be buying this, but okay. No one should buy a pie for you. I would hate that. That would be so sad. Yeah, you would never do this till you have to buy it. What? It's broken. I did not break it. Yeah, Excuse me. Find two good jobs. You can get into them. I like that hole. Reflection. Yeah. Joseph. You back. No, 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 I wouldn't do that then. <laughs> Finish it off then. Where am I finishing? What else is left? See, I'll see that later. We just do that. Okay. Oh shit. I'm gonna get fleas and tear. Oh no, are you joking? Let's go see that. Okay, let's just watch the cables. <laughs> Oopsie. I'm gonna get into another trap as well. It's going to kill me. Just <laughs> Save me. Well, I'm creative, so I wanted all your electric. Oh no, don't eat that. I wanted all your electrical bits to, you know, be a different colour. Should we paint them black glass now? No, it's actually in the connections. Can you break them like that? Joey, you're gonna get primer all over you. Okay, so we've just put on the first coat of black gonna wait for that to dry and then do a second coat and then once it's dry I think we're gonna install the new grill and put everything back together so far I don't think it was a bad project was it Ross it's not bad it just takes time yeah I just you said it's pretty complicated from the video but I think it's self-explanatory I think if you know the amount of screws you have to take off you're kind of more confident in pulling stuff off yeah, but you know you're guaranteed that that's it like that's it yeah so we didn't know about them two screws in the Audi badge, so but like it's a good thing that we like realized it wasn't actually coming off. Like there was pressure around that area. Yeah. So we copped on, but yeah. It's a plus. Let's see what it looks like in the end. So this is what it looks like two coats after. I don't think it looks too bad. Okay, can we take this off then? See, I did two layers of masking tape, so... Which means the paint wouldn't have gone much further than that. that looks good! Okay, so we got cooler tools. I might do the job. Oh, yeah. Is it? Yeah, I'm gonna try this one. Oh. Let's hope we're sawing off the right one. Hopefully. Right. <laughs> Let's try again. Let's try again. But the guy in the video did something so like that. I don't know if he chopped it or if he used an extension, but I need it anyway. Yeah. Maybe they were. Because 
it would be if it's original. So, there are two left then. Okay. That's fine. Okay, boys, which way are we going? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, don't put them, put them in just yet. Let's go in first. Oh, shit. Oh, we thought the whole grill fell off. Oh. This thing goes in first. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Uh, I think it goes this way, yeah. Circle. Why is there a circle? Okay. This is connected to. Or is this connected to again? I found it, you guys. I'm a mechanic. A mechanic. Found it. Jimmy, the bumper underneath. Oh, underneath. you need the chalk gone. That's why we can't use the blondes. Well, I have an excuse, you don't. Well, I'm just to see. I'm to slide underneath, so see that clip? Yeah. Yeah, it has to go underneath the bumper. Underneath that tray. Yeah, it has to go underneath. Yeah, now if it's... Oh my god, I'm a mechanic. That sounds like a you problem. Yeah. <laughs> Just need to get this corner in. Oh, yeah. There she is. Actually? Yeah. She's in. <laughs> Do you want to connect the battery? Uh, I just have to get that right side in. Do you not have it in? No. Oh, there's a whole trick behind it. And I am a professional at it now. And then what's it? Look at Joseph. I'm sorry, but I think we were out of focus this whole time, you know. <laughs> okay, guys, so... Oh, fuck me. When you're putting the battery back on, make sure you go in the reverse order. So that's going to be... And awesome. who told you that? Uh, Google. Very Excuse me, I said it and then you didn't believe me. And then you checked on Google. It's just double checking because I didn't want to fry myself. Jokes. Oh shit. Jokes. Got you there, guys. <laughs> the lights are back on. Okay, that's a good sign. The boot. <laughs> the boot will fall on us now, Ross, because uh -huh. the battery's connected. Okay, done. This can sit back over. Okay, just leave it like that for a second. We might have to disconnect it if something is not working. Ross, we need the keys and make sure the night vision is working. Oh, he's gonna kill me, isn't he? Touching his brand new steering wheel like this. Shh, don't tell him. Yeah, have to restart the windows as well. Yep, yeah, so. Start the car, it's gonna be full of errors now. Oh no, I didn't want to start it all the way. Oh, well, you did. I'm gonna find this back as well. You can just press that straight away, it turns that off. Okay, so night vision. What's this one? Oh, there. Okay, let's Does that see. look right? Yeah, that looks right. That work? Yeah, okay. and then sensors. How do I if I? So I'll just walk around. Maybe? Yeah, well, reverse won't do anything. But it takes all the sensors into account. Oh, does it? Brake. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, all good. Can I pick up on it. Yeah. Um, four people to fit a plate. We're overseeing the operation. Four yeah. people to fit a plate, you guys. Yeah. These That's guys call themselves a car boy. 
I'm not too close to about it being centered. Because oh, okay, I probably will rip it off when I get back home. I like, may as well put it down. Mechanic. Down. Oh, my finger. Mechanic. Okay, I got a piece there. We have an uh, assistant supervisor. Supervisor. Am I, I going to yeah. manager? Fine. And then uh, just whatever this is. Project manager. Peasants. 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 These guys Peasants. do the work. You guys supervise. Yeah. Mechanic. I took them off. Yeah. Yeah. Mechanic. That made a lot of appearances in my vlog, so stay tuned. Did you know he's getting an M3? I'm single. No. <laughs> single. Oh, <laughs> welcome to the no. single life. Hit him up at Alex Drives. I'm an M3, but well, not yet. <laughs> Soon. Got a thousand euro towards an M3. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, we're currently at Jack's house. We're going to be doing more projects here next week. But yeah, that's the Aura's Grill fitted. I hope you enjoy the vlog and I hope to see you next week. Bye!